Hello and welcome back to 10 Minute Tuesday, where we play a game and talk for 10 minutes. So... What is... Hogwarts Legacy, which we were going to start playing at the end of this week, I think. And we still are planning to do that. Has a huge controversy about trans j stuff that JK Rowling has said. I can't get, I can't get that piece of seaweed. Stuff that JK Rowling has said. JK Rowling. I don't care what JK Rowling has to say. I'm not saying I don't care about t transgender rights and stuff like that. I'm specifically saying JK Rowling and JK Rowling's opinions about stuff and my opinion about stuff too. What I have to say doesn't matter. Hang on here. I don't know what I'm doing. Cauldrons? Do we need cauldrons for stuff? Is that like magic? Can I do magic in this game? Is that good? Sewing station? I'm gonna keep talking. Bows! I wanna shoot things. And I think farming is good? I don't know. What was I saying? I They put a transgender character into the Hogwarts Legacy game. Like, it's specifically, like, I'm not gonna, I don't know. I, I think we're still gonna play it. I think we're still gonna play the game. I haven't pre-ordered it. I don't care that much to do that. But I think we're still gonna play the game because, again, JK Rowling's opinions. JK Rowling already made the money. Like, if you don't play the game, you're just robbing yourself of a good game that is clearly woke. Because they put the- I mean, they might have put the transgender NPC in there because of things JK Rowling has said. I don't know. I'm not there. I think we're still gonna play the game. If you don't want to watch the game, don't watch the game. If you do want to watch, watch. If- if I'm missing a point here, like if I'm missing something about this, let me know. And then I will learn. That's how people learn. You you inform them, right? This is too bright. Hang on. I'm going to try and do this and keep playing. And my nose is running. Sorry. Um, so that's, that's what I have to say about the Hogwarts legacy stuff. We're still going to play it, I'm pretty sure. That only came up today. We only found out about... I don't know how we missed all of that. Sorry, I thought something bad happened to me in the game, but I can't, I don't know what that would be. We only found out about all that stuff today. We had no idea. We had not searched or looked at the game since it was announced. And I was like, oh, I'm going to play that. Uh, maybe we'll play it. Maybe we won't. That'll be, obviously, we'll let you know. Um, there might be more to this. I don't know. It seems to me that JK Rowling is just kind of an ignorant ass. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. It seems to me that JK Rowling is just ignorant and really has nothing to do with the game. And I'm still planning to play the game. Again, only found out about that today. While we were, because this week, a whole bunch of stuff was said to be specifically about gaming. And I was like, who are you people? No, and they're people I know in real life. Who I kind of thought were a little bit more open-minded. Some of them a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. That won't be edited out. This is going to be one continuous take. And we're not redoing the video again. Somebody made a mistake earlier and didn't hit record. People I thought were more intelligent that had some really unintelligent things to say to me this week. Atomic Hearts, which I don't think we were going to play on here. I don't think that's in the weekly lineup. There might be some footage. I don't know. Maybe we'll do the first look. I might like it. I think I'm going to try it. I don't know. It's kind of a sketchy thing, again, because there's a whole bunch of controversy about, about it. And, ooh, a fish. Um... <laughs> ADD. Because another fish. 
Yeah. Um, because the company that made it is Russian, and it's about Soviets, and I don't believe the Ukraine is mentioned in it, but there's, and there's a whole bunch of stuff like, oh, when they released the game, but then I think I'm bouncing a whole lot today. When they released a pre-order for the game, there wasn't even any footage and this and that and like, it's not a real game and you're supporting a Russian developer that has no other games made. Like that's, that's all. Every game. Every game launches its pre-order with like crap information. So, and then there's like robots in the game that people have said there's a... Uh, lesbian intercourse scene between the robots and people are buying gonna buy the game because they want to see that I man they're robotic NPCs like and I'm not saying that did I mean to buy that oh what is this okay I've been sidetracked. What is, what is this thing I've found? What does this do? What are we doing here? Hello, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just going to instinctively kill it. Okay. 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 Using uh, same sex scenes to sell games is wrong. Sexualizing lesbians to sell games is wrong. Really exploiting anyone for anything to make a profit is wrong. However, I don't believe that they have a lesbian sex scene between two robots in the game. How does this work? I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to figure this out. What am I going to brute force this? Brute force? Brute, brute force. Yeah, I said fort. I don't know. I've completely forgotten what I was talking about now, and I think it was an uh, important thing. I want to salt. I can't get my fish. I cannot get my fish. How do I? How do I get you? Oh, okay. I got my fish. It's fine. Uh, exploiting anyone to make a profit from, especially a video game, is. Wrong and should not be done, but I just think that whole thing's blown way out of proportion. But again, I don't know, and maybe I'm missing the point. If I am, let me know because that's how people grow as individuals by getting information and correcting ideas that they had in their head were wrong. JK Rowling, um, and I like, I don't. I don't know about this whole Ukraine-Russian thing that's going on with the game and the arguments. However, I, a friend of mine who I thought was very intelligent and them having incorrect information. Can you look up how to solve this puzzle, by the way, please? Thank you. Um, The four pillars. And them having misinformation isn't what made them not intelligent, but they were like, oh, they're war profiteering. That's not what war profiteering is. What? Okay. We have the puzzle solved. Alright. Sorry. That's not what war profiteering is. It's not making a COD game about World War II and collecting the money from it. War profiteering is- I got a little chest. War profiteering is when during war times you're selling weapons or products or services that people need for a huge markup. That's war profiteering. And selling a video game about Soviets is not. And I explained that to them. And they told me that I was an asshole. Can we say that word? No, I've said it twice now, too. I mean, I drop all the time, and no one cares about that. Because we edited it out. That's not what war profiteering is. I explained them, and they told me I was ignorant, and I need to look up the definition, which I had already done. 
And then I, I informed them and I showed them the definition and they told me that Google has that wrong. And then I was like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> like, you don't get to argue with Google. Google is God. But no, that's not. And there was a whole bunch of stuff they said too. <clears throat> that it's just, I'm not going to get into it right now because I think we're almost done the episode. And I didn't even get to talk about Clark Kent. Or the Willy's Wonderland thing. Willy's Wonderland is a movie with Nick Cage where he doesn't talk and it's Five Nights at Freddy, but with Nick Cage. And there's this whole thing on the internet about whether he's gay in that movie or not. So I watched the movie three times and then I did some Googling, which was a lot easier to try and find an answer. It's He doesn't talk. There's no reference to his sexuality in that movie. And regardless, it doesn't change the storyline whether he's gay or not. It makes no difference. He he is he has there's no reference to it. It makes no difference. I don't well, who cares? He's that's like his Bert and Ernie Gay. No, they're puppets. They got some dude's hand up there. Well, that sounds a little that's not a good way to Anyway. Um so totally irrelevant to the movie. <laughs> that was a tangent. Um, little glasses. I got nerdy little glasses. They look like my glasses. We're going to end this episode. We're going to have to talk about Clark Kent later. Maybe I'll make a second one of these today. That's today's episode. Thank you for watching. If I said so if I'm not correct on something or I've missed the point, please let me know in the comments. You have a good day. Not all gamers are pro.